Charlie Hebdo, a weekly satirical French magazine, has published a comic book biography of the Prophet Muhammad's life, titled The Life of Muhammad. But his publisher, Stéphane Chabonnier, defended the publication and insists that the aim is not to ridicule the Prophet. The purpose is that it doesn't create any more problems than we can talk about Islam in France as we talk about all the other subjects, as we talk about all the other religions. We are in a weird situation in France. Islam is the second religion in the country in terms of churchgoers, and in fact nobody knows anything about Muhammad, nobody knows anything about this religion. It is a religion that scares people because every time we talk about it, it is when we talk about bomb attacks done by an extreme minority. So I think that maybe we should have have started with that, introducing Muhammad and introducing Islam before making fun of it or with it. Last November, the magazine's front page was subtitled Sharia Hebdo, a reference to Islamic law, and showed caricatures of radical Muslims. The newspaper's offices were destroyed in a firebomb attack just hours before the edition hit newsstands. But the incident hasn't deterred Chabonia, who says that it is religious extremists who are denigrating the Prophet by using Muhammad as inspiration for committing acts of terrorism. When we use the image of the Prophet in caricatures, it is not to ridicule the Prophet or Muhammad. It doesn't make any sense. It is to ridicule those who use his image. And those who use his image in a negative way, it is the religious extremists. When religious extremists, when terrorists use the image of Muhammad or claim to take inspiration from Muhammad, nobody is shocked. I don't see why only Muslim terrorists would have the right to. Well, there is no problem with them. They are not criticized for that and thus, if we make innocent drawings about Muhammad, people make a fuss about it. So there are two different yardsticks that we are trying to rebalance. Charlie Hebdo recently published other caricatures of the Prophet Muhammad that sparked violent protests in the Muslim world. But Shabania, who has received numerous death threats and lives under police protection, is defiant and unconcerned about the possible repercussions. I am not afraid, because when the Muslim world sets itself on fire, it's not the Muslim world. It is a small part of the Muslim world, and those who want to descend into violent conflict will always find a pretext to do so when they want to do so. So it is more a political frenzy. Maybe this comic book won't make any big row, and that would be a good thing. And maybe in three years, a radical group will resurrect it and use this comic as a pretext to attack France or French interests in the world. France ou attaquer les intérêts de la France dans le monde, etc. In 2006, Charlie Hebdo printed reprints of caricatures carried by a Danish newspaper in 2005 that stoked anger across the Muslim world. And last year, a low-budget movie called Innocence of Muslims sparked widespread protest over the movie's portrayal of the Prophet Muhammad as a womanizing criminal pedophile. The protest resulted in at least 75 deaths and hundreds of injuries.